Queenstown. You've probably already heard that it's known as the adventure capital of the world. A huge range of adrenaline pumping activities like bungee jumping, skydiving, pretty much any activity that has your body go over some sort of canyon. They got it. It is renowned for its stunning alpine scenery nestled on the shores of Lake Wakatipu. Has a vibrant nightlife that includes bars, some even made of ice. Queenstown and the nearby central Otago region are renowned for producing world-class Pinot Noir wines thanks to their unique climate and terroir. And it has an ocean climate, making it enjoyable to visit all year round. But not a lot of people are talking about the beer. That's where I come in. We're gonna save all the cool, fun stuff that we experienced in Queenstown for another video, so consider subscribing to stay up to date with that. Today we're talking about beer. Let's get cracking. Brewery number one, Altitude Brewing. Founded in 2013, Altitude has a fantastic location. It's just right on the water, right in between the town center and the airport. You can't miss it when you're driving in. The brewery's got this really cool, relaxed ski and snowboard theme to it. Which makes sense, because if you're coming back from spending a day on the slopes up the Remarkables, this place is perfect to stop in for a beer. We came in after a three hour hike and it was just everything I was hoping it would be. It's got that small brewery feel where there's a lot of people in there just enjoying their pint or their flight. You're just surrounded by people who probably did something pretty cool that day and everyone's just having a good time. I think they had about 12 different beers on tap and they had some good variety. Mm. Punch to the taste buds. <laughs> Man, it's just so good after a hike. I wanna crush all of these, but I need to eat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really good little pizza here, just demolished it. It's so delicious and honestly for Fridays, pizza and beer, you just can't go wrong. Queenstown, thank you. Getting to the end of the beer flight, I gotta say, you don't see a whole lot of Hefeweizens like at most breweries that we've been to here, but almost every single Hefeweizen that we have had has been surprisingly delicious. The ones who make them know how to brew them. Right on. I don't say that. <laughs> right oh, neat oh, gang. <laughs> These places have to cater to local and international travelers, so there's absolutely something for everyone. Altitude was actually one of the first breweries that I had initially researched like years before coming here. I was super excited to go and they did not disappoint. On the New Zealand Travel Tips Facebook page, someone a few weeks ago asked, you know, what's the best brewery in the Queenstown area? And obviously Altitude got a lot of thumbs up and Canyon Brewing, but I wanna say Searchlight got the most recommendations on that specific comment thread. So now that we're here, we get to check them out in person. Let's go. Love this place. Going into like a busy, bumping, lively brewery is great. Like it's actually one of my favorite things ever. But as someone who also likes to make YouTube videos, it's really nice to get in there before they get busy. And that's exactly what happened at Searchlight. Friendly atmosphere, pizza kitchen outside by the patio, interior is great. I just love seeing those exposed tanks. These ones had labels on them letting you know what's brewing. I just really like their branding. Great logo, awesome can art, super nice swag. I just had to buy a t-shirt from there. But the brewery itself was just like super calming, relaxing. There's a couple in there playing Uno, different card games and board games you could play. Just a perfect spot to find a quiet pint. Though I will say it did sound like this was the calm before the storm as they can get really busy on weeknights and weekends. Tiarn was the manager working and she was extremely friendly, let us get some shots behind the bar and she just kind of, you know, told us more about the brewery and gave us some insight on what it's like to be an Aussie living in Queenstown. It was really nice actually, I think it, uh, made our experience at Searchlight more enjoyable. Which brings us to today's beer. Easy Rider, Session Hazy Pale Ale. I did my standard crack it, pour it, you know, thing that I normally do. I finished the whole video actually to find out that the microphone had died. So thankfully I didn't drink all the beer. It's smooth, it's sessionable, it's got notes of mango and papaya in there. 4%, can't go wrong. I could drink like 10 of these and I might, maybe I will. But honestly, Searchlight was a blast. Thanks so much for having us. We're already looking forward to going back. Made it to Canyon Brewing. Kind of wondered why it was called Canyon Brewing. Um, but once you get here, I mean, it's pretty apparent. You're in this really cool canyon. 
with a cool bridge. And there's like the shot over jet here. Like this area is bumping. Let's go have another little taste of beer. Uh, pulling up, looking at the brewery. Our first impressions were, wow, where are we right now? Is there a better area you could put a brewery? I don't know. And that's gotta be one of the nicest patios I've ever laid my eyes on. Now I have indulged in a few different Canyon Brewing brews, more specifically on the Doubtful and Milford Sound cruises as they were available for purchase on our Real NZ cruises. Nothing is sponsored by the way. And, and they were pretty good beers, but having them fresh from the brewery was even better. There was a good amount of selection there, but if you're a fan of hazy IPAs and pale ales, like this is the place for you. We do have one stout on the menu today. Triple perk stout. So much coffee flavor. But I will say they do hazies really well. They have a full kitchen and bar as well. That paired with the giant patio makes me think that Canyon Brewing probably caters a little bit more towards larger groups, families, you know, all the tourists coming in from the shot over jet. It's just got that kind of brighter, family-friendly atmosphere to it. We got a lot of space. We made everything look really nice. You know, bring your kids in, bring your whole family in. We'll take care of you kind of thing. Not to say that Searchlight and Altitude don't have that, but they have a more typical craft beer atmosphere that I personally prefer. I had a pretty good time at Canyon. It was busy though, not gonna lie. Outside is bumping and uh, I don't know. I think we're ready to move on. All three breweries in Queenstown were an absolute treat to visit. And if you throw in the four breweries up the road in Wanaka, I think it's safe to say that along with outdoor adventures, multiple vineyards, epic landscapes, you also have a bit of a craft beer haven in this area. But of course, Queenstown has a lot more to offer than just beer. So be sure to check out our Queenstown adventure video and we'll see you fine folks in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>